show you how to take a picture that might be kind of boring with the TV turned off. And what we're going to do is we're going to add an image to the TV screen and we're going to make it look realistic like it's actually the TV that's on, which is super cool. So if you're doing real estate photography or if you're just doing work for somebody and you want to add that extra touch to a photo, this is how you do it. So what you're going to need is number one, the image, uh, which I'm going to open up right now in Photoshop. You're going to need uh, Adobe Photoshop. It, um, if uh, this is the program, there's other programs that have these same tools, but Adobe Photoshop is one I'm going to show today. And then you're going to need one image that you're going to put on the screen. So this particular building happens to be near where the new Raiders Stadium is. So a lot of people talk about the Raiders. So what I would like to do is actually put the Raiders on the screen. And so uh, down here, I've got an image um, from the Raiders. So. Here's the process, it's super easy, very simple, and you're gonna absolutely love this. So first thing, we're gonna take the image, and I do suggest using a, a you know, high resolution image if you can. Uh, you're gonna take that image, you're gonna bring it into the, uh, into the software, into Adobe. Now I'm gonna resize it when I drag and drop it in. I'm gonna resize it very close to the size of the TV. Doesn't have to be perfect, but that looks about good right there. Okay. Now once, once I size it to the size of the TV, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to zoom in here. Because we want to be able to, to, to see what we're doing. Okay, now here's, here's the kicker. This is the one that makes all the difference. You go over here to transform. Make sure you're on the layer with the uh, image of the football player. And you're going to go over here to distort. So distort is by far the best tool for doing this. Don't use any other one. Now you're going to grab the corner, you're going to start with one corner, and you can kind of see the shadows uh, that are inside the TV. So you don't want it to go to the very edge of the TV, you want it to go just to the corner so there's still a little border there. Uh, you know, you can still see like the name of the TV. Uh, you definitely don't want to cover the whole TV. So now once I've done that, I've used the distort tool to change it, the image to the size of the TV. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want this to look realistic, so I'm gonna go and adjust the opacity. So I'm gonna bring the opacity down, and you can see as I do that, it starts to show some of the light reflections. So usually I go to about 90%, that works, and we'll do that. And so now let's back out and take a look at our new image. All right, so as you can see what we've done here, we have uh, put the image on there. And now, uh, if you want to fine tune like the opacity to, to make it look realistic, just keep in mind um, you can do that. Uh, you can do that while the uh, while while you're zoomed out. It'll give you a better look. So, so if you want something really dim on the screen, you know you can go down to 64, 70 uh, percent. Go up to 90. It'll give something a little bit clearer. But uh, either way. You know, that's it. So if you want to add a little pizzazz to your images, that's how you do it. I hope you guys have some fun with these tools, and I'll catch you later. Thanks.